Today, the Discord native trading bot powered by Hero's Dexterity Protocol is launching the beta version of its perps and swaps trading bots. The bots will allow users to trade perpetual futures contracts and swaps directly from the comfort of their favorite Discord communities. The launch comes at a time when the meta of social trading and messaging app-based products such as Unibot, which is built on Telegram, are taking center stage for degenerates everywhere. GM, and welcome to the Network Effect, Hero Nation's weekly one-stop for the latest in macro headlines and Hero Network news. Starting with a few of the biggest headlines this week. The U.S. Department of Justice announced its decision to withdraw the campaign finance charge against Sam Bankman-Fried, founder and former CEO of FTX, effectively letting SBF off on a technicality of sorts. While the DOJ had intentions of pursuing the campaign finance charge against SBF, his legal counsel presented an argument in court, asserting that the Bahamas, where SBF was first arrested, must agree to those charges according to the terms of its extradition treaty with the United States. The Bahamas notified the United States on Thursday that they did not intend to extradite the defendant on the campaign contributions count. So, in keeping with its treaty obligations to the Bahamas, the U.S. government no longer intends to proceed to trial on the campaign contributions count. But this is far from the end of the line. SBF is facing multiple charges and is preparing to go to trial in October. He contested the validity of five charges, arguing that they weren't part of the extradition agreement that led to his return to the U.S. The government separated these charges from the upcoming trial, resulting in two separate cases. So certainly more to come here and we will all be watching. The orb heard around the world, Sam Altman, chief executive of OpenAI, creator of ChatGPT, is at it once again, this time with the launch of WorldCoin, what many are calling a dystopian project. WorldCoin is a digital identification platform that aims to provide each person on Earth with a convenient way to verify that they are a real human and not a bot or an AI algorithm. This is accomplished by getting people to scan their irises using WorldCoin's signature orb, adding that data to a crypto database with millions of others, and awarding the participant 25 free WorldCoin tokens upon completion, which are currently valued at around $2 each. WorldCoin is being touted as an attempt at global scale alignment. Directly from the WorldCoin website, if successful, we believe WorldCoin could drastically increase economic opportunity scale a reliable solution for distinguishing humans from AI online while preserving privacy, enable global democratic processes, and eventually show a potential path to AI-funded universal income, universal basic income, or UBI. While a bold mission statement, the scanning process has proven extremely controversial, with reports criticizing some of the tactics used by ORB operators who are paid in commission, with particular concern over those getting signups in poor nations. And it's also raised privacy concerns. Next, change is afoot at Twitter, or should I say X. In addition to a drastic name change, Elon Musk has announced his plan to transform the platform into a comprehensive platform for payments. This has led to speculation on whether Musk's affinity for Dogecoin could lead him to enable crypto payments in the process, providing an opportunity to broaden the use and adoption of crypto among a broader audience. If executed thoughtfully, incorporating crypto like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and stablecoins alongside Dogecoin could potentially make Twitter's X the go-to platform for a wide range of payment transactions catering both to traditional fintech apps and blockchain-based systems. Next, in Canada, financial regulators have proposed strict guidance for crypto exposure. Guidelines coming in two parts, one for banks and the other for insurers, specifically advising them on new capital and liquidity requirements for crypto asset exposure. Their proposal suggests that categorization of crypto assets should be in two groups, one comprising tokenized traditional assets in stablecoins, and the second consisting of unbacked crypto assets. Banks are advised to limit their exposure to the latter category of unbacked crypto assets to no more than 1%. 
Additionally, it highlights that tokenized assets may differ in market liquidity characteristics from their non-tokenized counterparts. The guidelines address the speed of creditors taking possession of crypto collateral, advising banks to assess whether such collateral can be liquidated in compliance with legal certainty requirements. The guidelines will come into effect in Q1 of 2025. In Hero Network news, starting with the numbers, total network volume now over $322 million. Almost 172,800,000 Hero tokens staked, which is up around 700,000 from last week, with an average stake duration of 2.2 years. Yesterday, Hero Network announced the launch of a staking incentives program. The program allows all Hero stakers participating in Hero Network protocols to benefit from discounted transaction fees. Backing up a bit, as a liquidity and infrastructure layer supporting on-chain derivatives and betting applications, Hero collects a network fee for all transactions that take place on Hero-powered dApps. 100% of those network fees collected are circulated back to ecosystem participants, including 50% to Hero stakers and 25% to the USDC Hero LP Rewards Pool on Radium Protocol. The base fee for derivatives products via Dexterity Protocol is 0% for maker orders and 5 BIPs for taker orders. Effective as of yesterday, July 27th, the network fee for paramutual pools was increased from 3% to 5%, charged only to the winning side of the pool. However, Hero Network's new fee discount mechanism applies to users who stake Hero, ES Hero, or Escrowed Hero, as well as Locked Hero or L Hero. Stakers receive discounted network fees for all transactions powered by Hero's paramutual protocol, with staking incentives for derivatives products to launch in the coming weeks. Fee discounts are viewable on Hero.Finance. Also, as a final note, any Hero Power dApp may have a different fee structure additive to Hero's base protocol fees. So be sure to read dApp-specific documentation for details on additional fees you may be subject to. On to ecosystem news, starting with YOLO NOLO. Today, the Discord native trading bot powered by Hero's Dexterity Protocol is launching the beta version of its Perps and Swaps trading bots. The bots will allow users to trade perpetual futures contracts and swaps directly from the comfort of their favorite Discord communities. The launch comes at a time when the meta of social trading and messaging app-based products such as Unibot, which is built on Telegram, are taking center stage for degenerates everywhere. Yolo Nolo is adding its own twist to the narrative with a focus on perps and bringing its bot to Discord first, with plans to expand to Telegram and even Skype listed in its future roadmap. Those interested in following along as the beta progresses can join the Yolo Nolo community Discord for the latest updates. Next, a new Hero Ecosystem DAP announcement. Introducing SpedX protocol, a DEX with superpowers. SpedX is a hybrid X of a CLOB or central limit order book and an AMM or automated market maker that will be using Hero Network for CLOB infrastructure and liquidity. The AMM will compose with order book to provide backstop liquidity via liquidity provision vault. The SpedX waitlist is now live for those interested with the DEX slated to launch in August of 2023. Next, Flowmatic. Yesterday, the Hero Powered Trading Terminal and DEX Hybrid announced that its API is now in open beta. As mentioned previously, this component is already being used by other projects building to Hero Network and will be a low barrier way for automated traders to easily connect and trade into Hero Network order books. The Flowmatic team will also be releasing advanced order types like TWAPs and Auto TP soon as well as further iteration on the API while they revamp the Flowmatic terminal. A beta testing quick start guide and other details can be found in the Flowmatic Gitbook. Lastly, in Hero Nation content, on the Hero Network blog, a walk through memory lane, the evolution of Hero Network. Many people might not know that Hero originally launched in 2018 before the Solana blockchain ever went live as a platform pioneering in the GambleFi space with a little game called Moonwrecked. Learn more about how that platform evolved into the decentralized liquidity layer we all know today by reading the full article.
Next, from our friends at Blockmates, a few hero ecosystem features. First, moats and hoes, a deep dive on why protocols are building on hero network. In second, an article titled Investigating the Trading Bot Explosion, a timely piece featuring none other than hero-powered YOLO NOLO alongside Unibot and others. Hopping over to the Hero Labs YouTube channel, an introduction to Pepperdex, a spicy new hero-powered derivatives trading platform coming soon. Random task walk through the Pepperdex docs to dive into Pepper tokenomics, how the decks will interact with the hero ecosystem, and more. Last, a demo of Open Hero. Learn how to navigate and place trades using the Open Hero interface. The open source UI reference implementation of Hero's Dexterity protocol allows users to trade perpetual futures in a single click with its unique ladder style interface. That's all for this week. Be sure to jump into the pit in the Hero Nation Discord for the latest on all things Hero Network, altcoins, and more. And of course, be sure to follow along on Twitter at the handle at Hero Network.